You ever have those days where you just know that part of your childhood is dying? Well, today is kind of one of those days. This week, I found out something from my parents that is exciting. It's kind of sad in a way, but for the most part, it's pretty exciting. I don't know if I'm prepared for it or not, but my house sold. So basically most of today, I'm gonna be grabbing all my old stuff, old movies, anything like that, old cameras, like for example, this. This is my very first camera. The Finepix Fujifilm. Just very, very old, simple. It could take pictures, it could take videos like this. This was my very first camera. Look at that. It's not much, I think it was like $30 at Walmart or something like that. But to me, it was everything because it gave me a way to hone my crafts, to start filmmaking, making videos, all that kind of stuff where I didn't need much. All I had was Windows Movie Maker and this. And yes, you need an SD card, but still. This was my very first camera. And now I have this. Now, everybody has an iPhone in their pocket and this can shoot up to 4K. This is an iPhone 6S. You don't need a fancy camera like this. It helps if you want to get better at your crafts, but you don't need it. All you need is to start small, start making videos. So essentially what I'm doing all of today is just grabbing, uh, grabbing this kind of stuff. Old DS games, notebooks, all that kind of stuff, crosswords. I'm basically grabbing all that and deciding if I want to keep it in the new house or trash it, which everything's worth something. I could probably sell a lot of this stuff on eBay if I had time. Maybe that'll be my summer project. So I'm just trying to figure out what do I want to keep? I have all of these shoes that I need to decide what to do with. Obviously I won't trash them or anything like that, that'd be a waste of money, but I gotta figure out a place to put them. So that's my dilemma today. But first, I gotta get organized real quick. So, launch the cleaning montage. Alright, well, cleaning montage over. Everything back here is pretty organized now, but Aaron and I are gonna look through some old boxes. But these old boxes aren't just any old boxes. I gotta tell you guys something important about these boxes right here. So something cool that I kinda did in high school, it was inspired by my older brother. He did this in high school for like one year. But something I did was every single year of my high school experience, I kept a shoebox full of things that were important to me that year. So movie tickets, concert tickets, all that kind of stuff. I mean, I've only ever been to one concert, but that's a good example of the kind of stuff I got. But I just put any Anything important that has sentimental value in the shoe box or two shoe boxes and so now we're gonna look through them so Aaron opened up the freshman year box and Aaron what what is that you know I'm not sure everybody this is my very first cell phone ever I did not have a phone until I turned 14 because that's when I first got a job and I needed it to you know communicate with co-workers that kind of stuff and my parents mainly <laughs> but yeah this is my first phone uh, it's been through Rain, it's been through soccer games, basketball games. Hold on, let me see if I can like take this off. Nope. But man, this thing has been through a lot with me. I wonder if it still works. I highly doubt it, but I don't know, maybe. Oh! What? If you plug it in, it still works. What? <laughs> I want to bring this back. You should take it to college with you. Although, right now, it's more expensive to have a phone like this than to have an iPhone. Sadly. Yeah, how sad is that? So that's pretty crazy. That's pretty cool. We'll, we'll come back to that once it's a little bit charged. But we're gonna <laughs> hide that. This is the time capsule thing I wrote out. I'll show you this. Tell you about this. I wrote out my name, age, all that kind of stuff. I was 15 freshman year. Freshman year when I did this, I was 15. Let's see. At the end of freshman year, I was 5'2", and I weighed 97 pounds. Wow. Holy crap, I was tiny. Oh my gosh. The future what are plans. You now, Jack? Right now I'm 5'8 and 135. 200 pounds? So it's a lot better, <laughs> but my uh, my ideal weight is 145. But that's a, oh. a, a muscular 145. <laughs> future plans go to college, plan to be a youth pastor or a basketball player. Mm. Neither of those things worked out. I hope the future is better than today. Skittles should be twice as good as now. Twinkies will return. No apocalypse or anything. Wow. Well, Jack, you were wrong. Twinkies are still sort of a thing. Twinkies are still kind of a thing. Our I feel biggest like problems. Skittles probably got bigger, but <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> our biggest problems: terrorist attacks, stuff costs too much, stinky presidents, and stupid public school systems. So pretty much the same thing now. Best things in the world today are fried chicken, grape, 
Crush, uh, Kool Aid, Pizza Rolls, Hot Pockets, Amusement Parks, Basketball, Basketball Dunks, Stuff at Church, Hanging Out with Friends, Family, Older Brothers. Hot Pockets, man. Hot Pockets. <laughs> I, lo I loved love Hot Pockets, hot guys. Pockets. Still guys do love I hot love pockets. Hot Pockets. I still do, but not as much. I predict, personally, I predict I will have a really good relationship with God. I'll be 5 foot 8 inches tall, 125 pounds. Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> Steady jobs, good friends, and playing sports. Uh, the good friends playing sports part is down. Steady job, not really. But yeah, wow, that was, five, five, eight. that's a pretty good, <laughs> pretty good prediction. Just so you guys don't think I'm lying. Right there, five eight, one twenty five pounds. That wow. is, that that's is amazing. something that's pretty cool. Yeah. So that's 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 pretty cool. Wow. 15 year old me, you were pretty wise. But yeah, so I, uh, I used to just save all this kind of stuff. I saved my course schedules, um, summer mission trip stuff, awards. That was from like fourth grade. Why is that in there? My first ever basketball game, 76ers versus Lakers. Lakers won in overtimes. Jordan Clarkson hit a game winner. Love that. Wow, and just like all this kind of old stuff. And then that's pretty much every single one of these boxes from my, uh, my past and then wow battery charging and you can turn it off that's pretty cool well everybody we're gonna see we're gonna see if we can discover some stuff see if we want to throw these away or not but we'll be right back we'll transition in three two one Whoosh. well we are all cleaned up now um we separated into stuff i do want to keep stuff i don't want to keep a lot of the stuff from my high school i pretty much just threw away a lot of the old relics that kind of stuff. All of that, I pretty much just trashed. I took a note from Star Wars The Last Jedi and I, I let the past die. Yeah, at Kylo Ren. <laughs> um, so that's what I did right there. I, uh, I pretty much just saw it, read it, threw it away. But we gotta get ready to move into the new house, so that means throwing away everything I thought was important, but is not. It's kinda sad. But it's alright. Right, Aaron? Cause we got a firecracker and we're gonna throw it in the fire. But I'm down. I've actually lived in this house for, I think, seven years now. Back when I moved to Pennsylvania, I moved in with my grandparents. We moved here in 2009. And so all seven of us kids, my two parents and my two dogs, we moved into this small house with my grandparents and it just wasn't really working out. So we rented a house for, I think, half a year or a year. And then we moved into the house that we're in now. And we've been here for seven years now, I think. So. For us to be moving out of this house after seven years is pretty crazy. So to think that I went from sixth grade all throughout high school to now living in this house is kind of weird. And it's kind of weird to think that we're moving. We'll still stay in the area. So we'll stay in Landisville, Lancaster, that kind of thing. But it's just kind of weird to think that next time I come home, I'm going to be in a completely different house that I've never been to before. Or maybe I've been to, I don't know. But that's just kind of weird to me, you know, <laughs> like... This is my last time ever being in this house, living in this house. I'm not entirely sure how to feel about it, but um, I want to tell you guys how my dad felt about selling the house. Uh, dad, how do you feel? How do you feel about selling the house? Selling mm -hmm. the house wasn't an easy decision, but at the same time, the house has served our purposes very well, and we've kind of come to a crossroad where we need to downsize and simplify and reduce some expenses and think about the future. So in many ways then it does become an easy decision because we know what we need to do and it's just a matter of finding the right time to do it and now is the right time. So uh, we've been fortunate to have some people come forward that wanted to buy the house and now the next challenge really is where do we go? What do we do? We have a great piece about the future and that we know there's a place out there for us and that God has a plan. So we're going to move forward one step at a time and see what happens. But it doesn't change the fact that we have some great memories here in this house, and we'll always have those memories, but we do need to move forward. So that's kind of what I think about selling a house. It's weird, but at least we have a new puppy to make the new house warm. Right, Henry? Sure, what's up? <laughs> Let's see what the boys think. Mike, how do you feel about the house selling? Fine. Oh, come on. Now, it's not just fine. Give me more than a one word answer. Michael Craven Rule, what do you think of the house being sold? I like it. You like it? That was three words. All right, let's see if, uh, let's see if Nate can give me a better answer. Everybody, this is Nate, this is Michael's friend. 
Uh, Nate, how do you feel about us selling your house? Um, pretty good, I guess. Not hey. my house. He gave me four words, which is more than Michael gave me. So, Michael, I have no clue where his shirt is. Maybe Pete will give me something. Pete, how do you feel about the house being sold? It is an upgrade, but a downsizing at the same time. Yeah. Are you excited to have your own room, maybe? Maybe. Maybe. But yes. Do you still want to share a room with Mike? No. Why's that? Because he's loud and he plays on his phone until midnight every night. Never. <laughs> I'm sorry, baby. Oh, well, everybody, I'm glad I could share the news with you. I'm glad I could tell you guys what's going on. It's kind of a serious thing we're going through, but I don't know. It's cool. I hope my family's able to document it. I'm not going to be home for any of the moving process. I'm literally going to miss out on every single part of it, other than seeing the sold sign in front of my house. I don't know, it's weird, but I'm sure I'll get over it. Eventually, I will get over it. Something like that. Well, thank you guys for watching. It means so much to me. I appreciate your support and encouragement. I appreciate it. It means a lot to me, so thank you guys for that. So, as always... One thing you guys should do today, tomorrow, and every day is be awesome. Yeah, baby. Yeah. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. <laughs> Poor puppy. Did anything hear what happened to Maybe it's it just a song. Oh, very good. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Henry. Hey, hey. It's all good. <laughs> it's all right.